Dear ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I would like to express my appreciation for having come this early morning to have a meeting with me. And uh, I know that your schedule is tight. I'm confident that our meeting will help foster closer ties between our nations and financial institutions. Let me dwell upon our perspective on the current developments in Kazakhstan and define avenues for our long-term cooperation. As you know, this year we are ushering in a new stage of our journey, building a just or fair Kazakhstan. In this regard, I have given a start to a package of comprehensive political and economic reforms. It aims to strengthen the rule of law, transparency and ensure equal opportunities for our citizens. One may ponder, what does this mean for business and financial institutions? in Kazakhstan. It means, from my point of view, greater access to market, greater transparency, less politics, more economics, and more generally, new opportunities for private sector and international partners. Now, I would like to focus on key initiatives that might be of interest to you. First, cooperation with our National Wealth Fund and privatization program. Today, our sovereign wealth fund Samruk Kazna is among the world's top 30 sovereign wealth funds with 70 billion worth of assets. Currently, the fund is undergoing a fundamental modernization focused on greater transparency and efficiency. The CEO of Samruk Kazna is present here and, of course, he is available for any comments or bilaterals. One of the key initiatives in that respect is privatization of the fund's portfolio companies. The largest companies of the fund, such as the National Oil Company, National Airlines, and Railway Companies, will be taken public shortly. In fact, Kazmunagas, our national oil champion, is doing an IPO in Kazakhstan this fall. Overall, we have prepared a comprehensive list of 700 large and small companies to be privatized. For each asset, we have formed a special project group to interact with potential investors. I do invite you to take a look at this opportunity. Secondly, energy and green finance. Kazakhstan is known as a relatively big oil and gas producer and mining metallurgical country. At the same time, our in internal priorities are energy transition and fostering green economy development. Kazakhstan's long-term commitment on achieving carbon neutrality by 2060 and developing green finance, of course, has an important role to play in that. In just two years, the green finance market has grown from zero to 700 million US dollars, more than 250 million, and this is just the beginning of the whole process. In this sphere, Kazakhstan takes leading position in our region, and it is safe to say that together we can achieve a lot more. Third, international transport corridors. Given the current geopolitical challenges, we have begun to diversify and expand our transport and logistic capabilities. Over the past two months, I have met and gathered support of the heads of state of China, Saudi Arabia, Turkey, and Azerbaijan. We have agreed to expand trade and transport connectivity. In particular, China, Kazakhstan, Europe route is emerging as one of the main land corridors. This promising domain requires big investments in hard and soft infrastructure. Our delegation is ready to discuss opportunities and follow up on the potential projects. Fourth, food security. Against the backdrop of food crisis, we are willing to do our part to ensure food security and mitigate hunger. As a large food producer in the region and globally, Kazakhstan offers great opportunities in the agricultural sector. I know that some of you who are present here in agriculture production and food processing. Our delegation as well as our embassy will be glad to discuss the details of potential projects with you later on. Fifth, cooperation with the Astana International Financial Center. This center, which is called Astana International Financial Center, is already a partner with some of you. 
It's a large one-of-a-kind institution in Central Asia offering common law and international court and arbitration system, world-class regulation and tax exemptions. Just recently, the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development recognized that the tax regime of the Astana International Financial Center complies with the global standards and transparency. The center facilitates offshore access to our markets, in particular capital markets. Its international exchange has already hosted successful IPOs, and I believe its partnership with Goldman Sachs and Nasdaq demonstrates our willingness and openness to work with the international financial community. The center hosts over 1,500 companies from 65 countries. So, dear friends, we have achieved many milestones over the past 30 years in many areas ranging from international security to energy and commerce. Now it's time to enrich it with another facet, financial cooperation. In this process, you have a key role to play in Kazakhstan. We'll be glad to welcome you in Kazakhstan so that you can see our opportunities with your own eyes.